We have come to our final presentation. Let's watch a video of our company founder and CEO Han Gil Park. You'd be surprised how many people are struggling themselves to death. Um, this business can, um, in effect, become a breakthrough for people who have nothing to go about doing. In the previous times of the industrial society, those who knew a lot dominated those who knew only a little. In the agricultural times, the powerful controlled the weak. Now we're living in a time where the fast dominate the slow. It's a time when winners find information in a more timely fashion than others to rule the world. One of the most efficient ways to spread information is in parallel. You're not going to acquire a certain piece of information until you master it and then pass down to another and then another. You're going to spread information only after you decide whether it is valuable or not and make it available to others so that everyone is moving simultaneously. Thus, it gains momentum quickly. Also, the direction is unlimited and the speed has great potential. 10 people deliver the information to 10 people each, making 100 people. Then those 100 to 10 each, making 1,000. That's how our royal masters have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of members below them most of whom they didn't ever recruit. They recruited hardly 1% of the organization. Don't complain about recruiting. Once the organization is established, the people you actually know is less than 1%, if not 0.1%. The rest are all strangers, but they are in this business together with you. That's what you should foresee or forecast. You should be able to see this coming by thinking. Also, you must believe that this is going to happen. That's why faith is not believing in something visible. As of now, you are not yet a royal master who makes $50,000 a month. We can't really see what the future brings. However, you must see what will happen to you. How so? By thinking logically. Not only should you have faith that you'll be making $50,000 a month as a royal master, but you should believe that you already are one. You must believe in that faith. You can't stand on only reality. After setting up that kind of goal, you are going to challenge it. You ought to set up a goal fabulous enough for you to fall in love with. That way, you can generate your own drive. The type of goal you must set up is a kind that you will go completely head over heels for, or a kind that you will go totally nuts about. Dream a dream that will completely sweep you off your feet. That's the kind of goal you need to set. I do have that kind of goal, and I call it the balanced life. We really want to live well, to love, to be loved, to learn, and to contribute. That's the life that you want to lead. Thus, you set one up last night accordingly. Next, you think about the things you need to do to make those dreams come true. First, you set up your goals. When it comes to reaching your goals, once you reach that first step, the rest, the higher ranks, will come along easily. Atomy's system is like a ladder. Here is a tree that has delicious fruit here, and we really want to have it. Before, only those who had the ability to jump up here could pick this fruit. However, there is a ladder now. A ladder is something that can be climbed all the way if you can step on the first rung. Here in Atomy, we have a mastership ladder. The first step is the auto sales master. 
Then comes Diamond Master, Sharon Rose Master, Star Master, then Royal, Crowned, and Imperial Masters. That's how it works. Once you become an Auto Sales Master, the people below you will push you up by becoming Auto Sales Masters themselves. That's how you become an Auto Sales Master who should be making two to $4,000 a month. Some Auto Sales Masters have one Auto Sales Master and one Diamond Master on the other leg, while they are still just auto sales masters. Once you become an auto sales master, making two to $4,000 a month, you can consider it as the first step to success. And the second success, paving the rest of the way, is guaranteed. How so? Once you make it to auto sales master, people below you will also become auto sales masters and they will push you upwards. You can become an auto sales master when the sales revenue from one leg reaches 2.5 million PVs and another 2.5 million PVs from the other within 15 days. In other words, your smaller leg must reach 2.5 million PVs. 2.5 million PVs is about $5,000 in sales. Another $5,000 on the other leg too. Simply put, within 15 days, if the sales revenue goes over $10,000, what do you become? You become an auto sales master. When running a small store, only sales can get you a profit. In this calculation of sales of $10,000, your compensation is about $1,000, which is interpreted as a 10% profit. That's one way you can look at it. Let's say you did other businesses or investments. 10% of profit would not be a shabby number at all. What's more impressive is that you can start this business without investing any money, and you can still collect this profit consistently. It's actually an amazing income structure as it keeps yielding a 10% profit like a pension fund. Once you sell products, profit comes to you automatically. At the next sale, another profit occurs again. However, you must educate this group of consumers so that they can become repeat customers and automatically repurchase. You need to turn your consumers into automatic repurchasers. They will voluntarily and automatically repurchase. What you want is to turn them into auto consumers. You want to do this within three months, or at most, within six months. If you go over one year, things will become harder. The quicker you complete this, the easier your business will be. How much you can compress the time will determine your momentum. You should compress it. Most commonly, we all know about 250 people that we can contact. You're going to make a list of about 250 people. That list is the people you know. You can't find 250 potential contractors, but you can list 250 acquaintances for sure. On average, there are about 250 guests at a wedding. Some people will take three months to contact those 250 people, while others will do 10 people a day needing only a single month. Some folks can contact 25 people daily and only need 10 days. Depending on how fast you can compress this period of time, your business may be able to experience ex Explosive growth, especially in the beginning of the business. You must pour your heart and soul into it. That's how you can make your business the most efficient. Again, you must compress this task period into the quickest time frame so that you can utilize its explosive power. Sure, it's easier said than done. Still, you will have to practice it to make it second nature to you. Don't get too frustrated, even if you don't get the hang of it right away. Despite the initial difficulty, someone will soon show interest. Your hard work will not disappear into thin air. Plus, the sooner that you think, the sooner you'll get the hang of it. 
Someone says after only one try, oh no, I'm not very good at this. Who is a born talker? Not many people. We're not born smooth talkers. Practice makes perfect. Foolish people consider this hardship to be a failure. Those who are going to succeed will not use the word failure, but read it as practice from now on. You're going to see failure as practice, okay? Practice is what you're going to read it as. If you run into failure, you will read it as practice. As you go along like this, you'll become good at it. Do this work in a compressed time frame and with explosive power. Now, everyone, please see this. Atomy is a platform from which you can climb up the social ladder. You can go to the upper class or high class with this platform. This is the only way. The means is now available to you. With this tool available to us, we can now live well, be respected, be loved, learn, and contribute. We will be able to enjoy that sort of lifestyle. We can finally set up such a goal. Some folks go, I've dreamed like that, but it never comes true. Never. Those who keep saying no to themselves can't achieve because of this self-inflicted curse. As long as you can switch your way of thinking, you'll be able to reach your goals. That's why I emphasize setting up goals clearly. Set your goals clearly and have determination that you will achieve those goals no matter what. After setting up goals, you want to be committed. Make a determination that you will think positively and take the initiative. This means that you should lead the people with your way of thinking. When you are here, you set your goals nicely. Once you get back home and tell your husband about your goal, he berates it and you surrender immediately. You are immediately overtaken by your husband. You go talk to your customers about something. And again, you're immediately dissuaded by them. This is not how you should go about things. You have to set the pace and lead your conversations. Speak with confidence and power. If you set the tone of your voice, people will be blown away. Use a confident voice and they'll succumb to your influence. Husbands here, go home and tell your wives, honey, your days of cooking, cleaning, and doing the laundry are numbered. I promise you a rose garden when we got married. And you will really have that rose garden. Keep your chin up and speak with confidence. Sweep people off their feet. Third, you should be ready to pay the price. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Once you get the hang of this business, the work itself will become fun for you. No wonder those who work to death day and night are finally enjoying the fruits of their hard work. If you are at a loss for what to do, just go ahead and do it any way that you can. If you're at a loss for words, say whatever pops into your mind. Some people just go on forever thinking about what to say. In addition, you don't need to study that much. They're not born rocket scientists. As they fear public speaking, they spend a lot of time studying. Some Atomians deservedly need to study. Those who love learning and studying. Those folks need to study about products and the compensation system and so on. However, those challenged by it shouldn't even bother. I know they're only making excuses. They aren't really scholarly material. Yet by saying that they're studying, they're avoiding going out there. I assure you, those folks should just go ahead and give it a try. Just say whatever. There was an episode with an old lady who passed her phone to me abruptly. President Park, this person doesn't believe what I'm telling him. Why don't you have a word with him? So she passed her phone on to me. The next thing I knew, I was talking on her phone. 
The person on the line was dumbfounded as well and shoved into this conversation. So we had a chat. I went, what's going on? The old lady told me that the cosmetics were made in a nuclear power plant. So I told her that nuclear power plants don't make cosmetics. You must have been duped by a con man, so please don't do it. She just told me that you, President Park, said so, so she transferred the call to you. Oh, is that right? I think she misunderstood Atomic Research Center as nuclear power plant. These are developed by an atomic research center. Then he went, ah, is that right? Now it makes sense. Then he wanted to talk again to the old lady. Hey, Grandma, that product was made in an atomic research center, not a nuclear power plant. Then the old lady went, what difference does it make, an atomic center or a nuclear power plant? What matters is that that man became a member and started the business after listening to me. Nowadays, the old lady is quite good at explaining the company to people, and she no longer tells people a nuclear power plant makes our products. She makes pretty good money as well. What I'm stressing is that Atomic Research Center or a power plant really doesn't make a difference. If you mess up, consumers will correct you. With the next person, you can tell them correctly. That's why going into the field is so important. Thirdly, making a list. You need to make a list. Prospective customers. When making a list, don't write down prospective contractors. If you do that, you won't have very many to think about. Just jot down people's names that you know. Do you understand? You should have about 250 acquaintances. With those people, instead of trying to convert them into contractors, tell them what business you're in. Give them information. Tell people that you began shampoo sales, cosmetic sales, and health supplements as well. Spread the word that you sell mackerel, ramen, and dried sundries. Just let people know all about it. Whether they buy it or not is all up to them. I call this phenomenon the law of own mind. Who decides to buy or not? Their own minds. They decide. Then who decides whether to speak or not? That much is up to you. Let them decide with their own minds. You just need to tell them about you. They will go and agonize about it on their own. A very common thing among those who are poor at sales is that without even telling anyone about their business, they worry if people are going to buy things from them or not, or if they will do this business or not. They agonize over it all night long. The next morning, they conclude that this business is just too overwhelming. What did they actually do? They just worried to death. Here's what you should do. Forget about worrying. Just give them the information about your business. And then whose worry is next? They will worry about whether they should do this business or not. It is they who should agonize whether they should go for this or not. It's a total waste of time for you to worry about it all night long without telling anybody. I discovered this profound force of nature. Sure, I was a rookie once too. Once I came to the recognition of this law of own mind, I reached the state of nirvana in sales. Do I worry or not? I don't. There's no point in worrying. Just tell people. They will buy it or they won't. I don't care. Will they do this business or not? You shouldn't worry. I move on to talk to more people and on and on. I do this as long as I'm living. Either it's me or the other guy who dies. I keep attacking with this information, like the high waves slapping on the rocks. On the shore, through ebb and flow, I slap people like those mindless waves. Remember that you are mindless. Just go up to people and talk to them. Then who will start agonizing? They will. Then you just go on with that style of work. I am doing this at me business and you should join me. 
I've just been to the Success Academy and it blew me away. I know I'll be making 50,000 a month. If you don't go this time, you'll regret it. Let's go together. It's up to her whether she's going along or not, but you must tell them to go together next time. If you tell them five times or even 10 times, they will become very curious why you're being so adamant about it. Didn't some of you here today come because of that? You became intrigued about what the heck all this is. You were financially moved by steady insistence, weren't you? Simply saying, keep talking without thinking. Just toss that information out there endlessly. Everyone, repeat after me. The law of own mind. Yeah. People, don't you agonize. Look at me. How casually I'm talking now. I don't have the slightest worry about who will join. I'm just doing my part. Of course, I never think everybody's going to join. I don't care if they want to do this or not. Let them be. Whose mind is my talking up to? It's up to my mind. Again, when you're out in the field, just talk casually. Casually. Fourth, when you make a list, you must invite people. That is to call them. Don't worry about introducing the business or the company. It's better to bring them to the seminar. Fifth, you should explain the business. The first part of the business introduction should be about the company and then the CEO. What about the company? We sell products that Kyrie developed, such as Hemohim, health supplements, and high purity skincare products about the founder and the CEO. He is someone with first-hand experience in network marketing and is resolute to rewrite the history of the distribution industry. That's the kind of manager he is. Additionally, he is handsome. Next, you're going to talk about the products and tell them about our absolute quality and absolute price. Because we deal with daily necessities, automatic repurchases can happen. That's how you go about it. The next item is about the compensation system, which is an honorable compensation program. Our compensation system is evenly distributed, not a winner-takes-all system, and rewards the low-ranked decently. Even if going up high, people earn $50,000 a month, which will completely transform your lifestyles. If you're not sure about any of this, tell them to visit our website for an explanation. It's an easy to understand animated clip that will explain everything. Fourth item, our education system should be explained. It is imperative that people participate in our education system to succeed. Tell them that we have weekly seminars on Thursdays and the monthly success academy that's held in Songnisan. It all boils down to how well you motivate them to participate in the seminars. Pursuing people might help you sell products, but you can't establish your organizations and no organized leaders will be generated. Who then can turn into leaders? Only those who are molded in a melting pot, such as One Day or Success Academy, can become true leaders. If you want to indeed generate many leaders under you, you want to bring as many people to one day or to Success Academy as you possibly can. Simply, it all boils down to that. Believe it or not, some remarkable person might spring up under you, someone who is much smarter, more capable and more talented in everything than you are. The one and only business under the sun that can run smoothly with fewer smart people on top while more able people are at lower ranks, that's the Atomy business. Such a phenomenon is unthinkable in other organizations. In typical corporations, bosses are usually smarter than their subordinates. If bosses happen to be not so bright, they will disappear sooner or later. Interestingly, with this network marketing business, even the slow can afford to keep the sharp ones under them. In natural cases, 
Half smarters attract only other half smarters. Half smarters here, half smarters there. Half smarters galore everywhere. Nevertheless, there's bound to be an isolated full smarter somewhere down here. From here on, things explode. Plus, this full smarter doesn't bother with asking because nobody else is knowledgeable. He's self driven and he takes care of the business on his own. If you consider yourself as a half smarter, this business is for you. Birds of a feather flock together. Once a half smarter, forever a half smarter. People don't change that easily. However, you can get lucky. More often than not, full smarters will enter under you, only to make you a super smarter in income. This one full smarter can turn a half smarter into a super smarter. I have a word for full smarters. Don't do other work. Do the atomy business. Why? Other jobs won't guarantee your retirement. Even if you had decent capital, there's not much great investment out there. Everything is fiercely competitive, leaving us nothing worthy. If smart people start here, their hard work will be compensated with sweet fruit. If you consider yourself a half smarter, you must stay with Atomy. You're not going to make it anywhere else. You're stuck with this. What are half smarters good for? Again, if you had lived all your life as a half smarter, Atomy will bring you your one and only chance to finally become a super smarter. So long as you have that faith and march forward towards your goals, not by your pure work, but by the systematic operation of this company, super smarters will be born under you. These four elements make up the business explanation. After explaining about the business, you want to do follow up. The sixth step. Subsequent management is follow up. What follow up means, follow up, is that you should call your people within 48 hours of the first interaction. You want to check on how they're doing. More importantly, those who made it to leaders must follow through with their partners. You must take care of your people all the way so that they too can succeed. Look after them until they succeed. This business is not so much about your success, but a plan to make the people under you, your partners, succeed. For now, you want to forget about yourself. Forget about your success, but wish for this person to succeed. This person here and that person there. You want to make this person an ASM here, another person an ASM there, and another one here and there. You'll be so focused on making your partners ASMs here and there. It's okay if I don't become an ASM, but you must become one. You should make it to Auto Sales Master. While putting your heart and soul into making them ASMs, what do you become? You become a Diamond Master. Not by making efforts for yourself, but by making efforts for your partners. You become a diamond master through their accumulation. This is how you do follow through. You should be selfless. No matter what, you want to look after this person here and that person there. Take care of this individual over here and that individual over there. Help them out all the way. Working all the way in this selfless manner, the next thing you know, you will succeed. The next step, um, is to do consultation. When it comes to consultations, uh, you want to visit our website and check it out there. You can learn about how to consult and duplicate. You can see and learn through my video lecture clips there. I'm wrapping up my lecture here, wishing success for every one of you. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone 
My name is Mandy Ng and I've been your host for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Atomi Oceana. Tune in next month for another episode of Atomi Oceana Online One Day Seminar. It will be on Saturday the 1st of August at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Until then, take care everyone. Goodbye.